Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nest Tech Bits, and here's some of the luscious, awesome, truly great tech that I have managed to pull in from yard sales and whatnot <clears throat> this weekend. I got a lot of crazy, awesome things. Man, this stuff just blows me away. Uh, what I have found, and normally I can't find Apple things at all, but this round, man, I found all kinds of stuff. So let's start out for uh, 10 bucks. I got these two iPod nanos i believe these are ipod nanos a one gigabyte one gigabyte and eight gigabyte man check out this one gigabyte that thing has definitely seen better days it's seen somewhere i think it is uh over 10 years old and i can't even get a charge to stay on this thing so i am either have some fun tearing it apart or i'm going to be selling it on ebay now this one this one is the eight gigs i bet the other one stopped holding the charge so they got this one. Oh, ipad nano yes nano yeah, this one I got to charge, but man, I got to plug these things in and charge them for a while. They didn't come with the charger, but luckily I am a hardware hoarder, so you know that I had an extra one kicking around because reasons. All right, now moving on. Check this out, man. I got a hand, a hand, 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 Emacs, a hand camera for a buck in the original box with all the fun stuff, man. For just one buck, I would love just to look at some old technology. Old school technology here, folks. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this stuff. Uh, even more likely aren't. We got uh, we got the lamp here that detaches. And, uh, yeah, we got an old school type camera with the original box. That's uh, That kind of retro thing is definitely something that I can flip. That I can flip. And speaking of flipping, for the most part, you'll notice a whole bunch of ink. And the thing is, ink. Sorry. Yeah, ink. Printer ink not toner but ink uh it definitely does expire but the thing is people even buy expired stuff so you can get that thing for a buck you can usually flip them for about 10 bucks which is uh very nice now one thing i'm kind of cheating here with i went to radio shack or the source or radio source as i like to call it and i got a bunch of really cool things uh for christmas and whatnot like for example one of these these are selfie lights led lights i don't even know why you plug them in because they work whether they are plugged in or not now here you can see one there's not really a whole lot to it but a bunch of leds i bet this is the kind of stuff that will uh they'll burn out oh look they have a perfectly even number of different types of leds maybe to give you a certain kind of uh no, it isn't even showing up very well maybe you can see it there but actually it's like it's like orange yellow orange yellow and then with a little switch here uh, sorry, a little switch here. You can turn it on and it'll help you. Ooh, I can see myself selfie and Different ranges different kinds of light really cool for one bug Apparently it was normally like four or something like that Very interesting for six for six bucks. I got this Bluetooth speaker that lights up and looks like a galaxy That should be pretty good around Christmas next up Got a gadget tree uh, home video camera so you can see who is knocking on your door so that should be interesting i'm uh, i'm looking forward to getting into that and seeing what it's like now this oh man i'm happy with this thing i probably shouldn't be and uh, my wife probably isn't a whole lot either this oh i gotta make some room to get into this if you're on my other channel you've already seen me do a video on it. this is uh the sony handycam now of course you know that sony made camcorders but this is basically a housing for a handycam that you can take underwater with you you stick it right in there and i'm going to be doing some videos with this i'm going to find a way to mount an iphone in one of these i will do it i will do it and the controls are really pretty basic you got uh you got the power on power off uh, the start the record I think I, there was an attachment that went there. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is. And you're supposed to hold it like that, but man, this thing is heavy. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like five kilograms. It's more than, it's more than maybe five pounds, maybe five pounds. Um, yeah, it's got a leak sensor and then you can see what you're recording up there. Really cool, but really heavy. Now this, the guy I got this from had a beautiful pond off the side of his deck and uh, he put that down to see what the fishies were doing see what the fishies are doing so yeah that's cool stuff next up i want to talk about this typewriter calculator crazy thing my brother ep45 it is actually a typewriter and it tests okay gotta say you're really lucky if you can get something like this that uh, has all the pieces you need and it looks like it's in pretty good shape too so maybe this is something that uh i'll be messing around with with my daughter but still really cool i love this old school tech 
Now one thing that is quietly actually popular, I get a lot of views when I make uh, videos about these old sharp calculators, and there's some accountants that need calculators like this. Just need them. Um, you know what, before I get on to the last, I want to talk about So the guy I got this from, I got this stuff from. It's recording stuff. Man, check this out. This is an old school strobe light. He used to use this strobe light for when he was doing war movies. Man, this guy would do professional, like professional. Actually, he's moving. It doesn't even matter if I show you. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. There's not in the studio anymore, but it looks like we got some eight millimeter film here, which is interesting because I don't have anything to play it with. Apparently, it's like karate and stuff. Oh, that looks like a moon. Oh, the moon is blue like a big lagoon. So yeah. Interesting stuff there. I'm getting into the uh, the retro stuff now that I'm learning exactly how, how it worked, like with the Super 8 and whatnot. But last up, let's talk about the Mac that we got over here. All right, so this iMac that we got over here is a really interesting find. I only got it for 20 bucks. The guy lied and said it's powered up. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Uh, for 20 bucks, though, I don't care because the keyboard is worth at least 20 bucks. And I might be able to get in there and I might be able to fix it. Now, what I've tried to do is with old electronics that don't exactly work very well, what I like to do is I like to leave them plugged in. And sometimes that brings them back to life. Like, leave them plugged in for an hour or two. And uh, I don't know, maybe there's an issue with them, like capacitor has gone bad and it just needs to charge up, and that'll often work. What will also work, apparently, with these is leaving them unplugged. So I tried leaving it plugged in, and uh, I'm going to leave it unplugged for the night and see if I can get anywhere with it. But honestly, for 20 bucks, I'm just happy that I can tear into it. Because, man, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Pretty sure the unit itself, just as is, would go for more than, uh, like, 40 online. But I don't really know that too well. But, yeah, I am really happy with all the stuff that I got. Now, the guy that I got this stuff from, I'm also talking to him about getting his old, uh, uh, what was that? 4G. Uh, 4G, I think it was a 4G or a 5G. Uh, power, it must have been a power PC, but he's got Final Cut Pro on there. He's going to give me a deal if I want to mess with it. Man, he's taking good care of this thing. So I will be interested in seeing in seeing how that ends up, how that goes. But man, I'm so happy with all the awesome tech that I got. And you got to be grateful for all the, the good things you have. So anyways, that's it for me, folks. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. Uh, take care of each other and uh, have a good one.